Now, of course, recessionary time came up with that. Some clients aren't able to perhaps afford us. Um, people are struggling. And certainly recessionary, recessions do make a, a, a difference. It is, harder, um, it, it is harder for people. However, and I'm sure you've seen this, when you look at the peaks and troughs in the economy, when the economy is booming, do you see clients go out of business? They do, don't they? You sometimes find, don't matter how good the economy is, some people cock it up in their business, they get it wrong, and they go out of business. Conversely, over the last three or four years, I'm sure you've seen people who have made a lot of money that are doing very, very well. Now, the trend on average, if you look at the economy as an average, if you look at all clients on average, now on average, yes, I would agree, over the last three or four years, people are finding it harder. But you're not looking for an average client, are you? What's your ideal client? You're looking for the right sort of clients. There are lots of people out there who are doing very, very well and have been for the last three or four years. So recessions are an excuse. I think one of the things that's a, ch a challenge that we have is a lot of it's a, mind it's a mindset, it's up here. We hear, for example, a handful of clients complain about our fees and straight away we think, oh crikey, recession, we've got to start cutting our prices. Yet my question to you would be, and who has had a, pl who's had a price complaint in the last one or two years? Who said that? We, we've all had those. Okay. Now, and we all remember those experiences, don't we? We remember when someone says that's a bit expensive. Okay. But let me ask you a question. Who's had more than 10% of their clients have those price complaints? It's probably less than 10% of your clients. The trouble is, those 10%, when people complain about price, it affects us up here. And we suddenly start thinking, crikey, everybody's complaining about our price. And we start to focus on those 10% and changing our practice, cutting our fees, because of the 10% that have said, we can't afford your fees anymore, you're a bit expensive. And we should be focusing on the ideal clients, those that are doing well, that want your service, that value what you do. It's all up here, it's a, mindset. it's a mindset attitude. The recession, yes there's a recession, but there are plenty of clients doing well. But even if, even if you have got clients, you might have clients doing badly, but actually they're just having a bad year. You don't want to lose that client. Well, once you start building things like uh, bundling and menu pricing and, and some of those strategies that we'll touch on later on, I think have been mentioned a couple of times. Once we start to recognise the fact that different people value things in different ways, and once we start to tailor our packages, our prices, then we can, we can accommodate these clients in a way that doesn't involve reducing our prices, just simply by changing the package. I know that many of you who use Time's Up, Time's Up is a great tool for doing that. If the client can't afford that package of stuff this year, don't simply crash and burn the price. Take some stuff out, have a different option. If they've previously bought a four-star service, recommend they this year they go for the three-star service. Don't crash your price just because we're in a recession. We don't have to do that. We just find a way of better changing what we can do for that client. If the client can't afford the fees, suggest we take this out this year. We don't do this element of the service.